Hello ladies and gentlemen, so for today's video guys, I'm going to teach you on how to create your own e-portfolio using Google Sites. Of course, you need to have a desktop and an internet connection to be able to create this one. So first things first, go to Chrome and search for sites that do that google.com okay i have my link now just type sites.google.com click enter and you will be redirected with this website of course first things first click the plus button with the subtitle blank to start a new site this will be the beginning of creating your own e-portfolio so here guys this is the home page the first section in the home or your cover page this one this is the first thing that your readers will see so you need to introduce yourself and the objectives of your e-portfolio usually there are templates available and each provide sections you can add personal touches such as images or change of color themes so here guys you can add your name or the name of your portfolio okay this will be your banner it's up to you guys since this is your portfolio okay next is you can change the image just click this one and select image if you wanted to have it with the google images okay and of course, you can change the theme if you don't like the theme of your profile or your home page. You can change for theme. Just click the themes and you can have your themes provided. The next, guys, this we can add also pages. So the pages that you can add depend on how you would like to organize your e-portfolio. What is important is that you need to construct your e-portfolio at the start of the class. In that way, you can have a fresh start as you try to be conscious in documenting the activities and learning that goes with each session. In pages, guys, you can add pages. For example, this will be your home page, so the next page will be example quizzes. It's up to you guys. How will you design your e-portfolio? Okay, we have the quiz page. In this area, guys, you can add the documents or the quizzes, your records from your quizzes. Okay. Next one, you can still add another page. You can add activity page. Here, guys, in the activity section. You can add documents from your activities, okay? Next, you can also add for uh, projects, okay? You can segregate your activities, your projects, your quizzes neatly. Of course, in the home page, guys, let's go for insert. You can add a text box here for you. You can design. This home page, guys, serves as the preface. Or the introduction of your e-portfolio. You can design your portfolio about its content, okay? Here, guys, for example, this portfolio, this portfolio serves as my documentation with my school, school learning progress. Okay, could be like that. And of course, guys, you can also add for images in the insert. Okay, you can insert image. You can upload for image. Okay, so then you can introduce yourself, your age, your name, where are you studying from. Okay, in this area, guys, you're, you can also add for a URL or a link. Okay, for example, a link of your youtube channel or your youtube video that is related from your school project and you can also add a drive maybe you have your own file okay added to your e-portfolio as we scroll down guys from the insert 
we can we have this content blocks these are the designs okay the designs for example you want it you wanted your e-portfolio to be designed using this content block number one in this content block guys you can upload upload from google an image select an image or add a file from your google drive youtube channel calendar map and you can add for text guys or the description to what are you uploading for okay or what are you uploading so that the viewers will easily know the content of your e-portfolio okay or you can have the content block number two this one you can easily add here so there are several things you can add from your e-portfolio guys collapsible group so you can add here texts anything guys you can design from your e-portfolio this is just like a usual portfolio guys but this one is digital and easy to create with your desktop okay and your internet connection this will be a hassle-free portfolio since this is digital so there are several things that you can add with your portfolio guys especially those things links slides forms documents sheets charts that you are submitting into your class and you wanted to segregate it into a one place collapse it into a one place e-portfolio is the best tool for you if you are a student on the other hand guys you can also share your e-portfolio click the share button in the upper corner you can have the share button the share button guys for example your teacher asks this the class to submit their e-portfolio so you can add people for example so you can share it with the with other gmail accounts if you wanted to publish it into public you can share it to anyone guys using this share button and click done so every time you make changes your from your e-portfolio guys always click the publish button this is like a saving button so that all the changes that you made with your a portfolio be saved okay if you publish it every time you make changes from it so click the publish button there will be a link this will be your web address the name that you have typed in will be your web address so you can publish it so that the changes have taken will be saved into your site so every time you wanted to visit your e-portfolio guys you can have that link okay or you can visit sites that do google.com it will be automatically saved once your gmail account has been logged in into your google account so that is this one creating your e-portfolio is very easy and hassle-free so why not try yours now that's all guys. Thank you for watching.